Greetings everyone. Holy hell, what? Three months, I think, since the last vlog. You have to really understand there's been a lot going on. <laughs> so I really haven't had the gumption to make a vlog. I think you'll understand. However, this is a really big day because we have someone that's gonna be coming up to visit for a little while. Those of you who know me and followed me for a while know who this individual is. He goes by the name of Josh Tyler. Yes, Josh will be in the house. I am heading to Manchester Airport in New Hampshire to pick him up as I record this. Uh, it's an hour and 20 as flight arrives. At about the same time, I'm going to get there, which is great. And uh, it's going to be so nice to just have time to spend with my best friends uh, as we live very far apart. Uh, and we had this plan for quite a while, so it's going to be a fun week. I'm really excited. We're going to take you along for the ride. All right, guys, after an hour and 20 minutes to and from Manchester Regional Airport, look who's in the house. That's right. Now, a lot of you are going to be really happy to see Josh because he does not come up here very often, usually once a year. Uh, so for him to be in the vlog is a big deal. And those of you who are following know how close Josh and I really are, as you have seen many of our Rocket League streams or streams in general. Uh, but right now we are going to be rocking some dominoes, getting some supplies, and then we're just going to uh, chill the rest of the day. Oh, I'm going to go over to uh, Newberry Comics, uh, pick up a new guitar string. My high E broke, so I need one of those. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to be able to chill for once. Okay, morning guys. We got settled. Uh, we kind of ended out the day with a lot of dominoes, a lot of binge watching. Uh, so we're now on day two of the vacation, and we're going to start our gallivanting tour around New Hampshire, hit some Duncan, uh, maybe a little uh, um, side attractions along the way. It's going to be a fun day. Um, we're all showered up, ready to go now. Josh has two dogs. Uh, one of the dogs, his name is Booker, uh, was limping on one of his legs. Uh, he was having a hard time walking, so Alyssa's on the phone with him right now. There he is. Alyssa's on the phone with him right now, and evidently it's a bruised toe. Now, dogs have paws. I wasn't aware that they were considered toes. I mean, I don't know, but I just, I find that kind of odd. Uh, but anyway, we'll see you when we're on the road, and we're gonna hopefully see a, uh, a decent amount of bridges today. I uh, have a nice little spot scoped out in the southern part of the state, so we'll see you on the road, guys. All right, well, here I am. Monumental occasion, Josh's first Jerry. time. That's right. The vlog. Uh, I think I've got it under control. We are obviously on the road, uh, on our way to Duncan. Yes. Where I'm going to get a huge iced coffee, and I'm not sure what else. Jerry, what are you getting? The iced coffee is mandatory. What I really need to figure out is if they have the pistachio iced coffee, which we tried last year. Uh, that was utterly fantastic. Yeah, what are those? The Baskin Robin flavors? Is that um, what that was at that point in time? I believe it was, yes. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to hit up Duncan. And then we are going to head south. Yeah, we're heading south. Uh, we have a, <laughs> a preliminary <laughs> preliminary game plan in place. We're going to do a big loop, uh, go all the way south past Keene, loop around to Concord, and back up to West Lebanon. Yeah, um, I think logistically we've got some of it figured out, and we're just going to play it by ear. Yes, and we'll take you along the way. Yep, we will catch up with you guys when we get to our first bridge, probably. Yeah. Awesome. Okay guys, so we're in Lebanon, New Hampshire, where we're stopping by our first bridge of the day. This is the Packard Hill Bridge. They have a nice little plaque here. So it's an open timber bridge constructed in the 1780s. The existing bridge, 1991, which is right over here, is 76 feet long with a clear span of 62 feet and is 25 feet wide. Now we've seen a handful of covered bridges and the ones that I really like are like this. They have that walkway designed on the side. So what do you say we go up there and check it out? Let's do it. On the bridge itself, as you can see in the background here, I'm on the little walkway. It is a really nice bridge. It's kind of short. Uh, it's very active uh, and it's pretty impressive as they all are. Mr. Kunith is over here taking some pictures, uh, which I suspect are going to be absolutely breathtaking. Um, 
a little overcast, a little overcast today, but I think the sun's going to be coming out. Uh, we will catch up with you guys at our next bridge, which probably will be in an hour, maybe a little bit longer. We got a little traveling to do and some miles to put on the knots.